Here's our second example proof uh, involving, you know, writing a proof with congruency of triangles. So just like the last proof, we're going to start by listing our givens. We know that line segment PQ bisects uh, angle SPT. And that has been given to us. And we also know that segment PS is congruent to segment PT. And that's been given to us. And notice they've already marked PS and PT for us. So we know that this segment and this segment are congruent. So uh, we're trying to prove triangle PQS is congruent to triangle PQT. So we already have one of our three congruencies that we need with that given right there. All right. Uh, as I stated earlier, uh, always look for those keywords. Bisects is definitely one of those keywords. And if you think back to the definition of what it means to bisect, to bisect means to split an angle into two congruent angles. So if line segment PQ, which is right here, if line segment PQ is bisecting angle SPT, so angle SPT is S to P to T. So that's right here. So if PQ is bisecting angle SPT, this segment is splitting this large angle into two congruent angles. Uh, so from that given, we know that angle SPQ, which is right here, is congruent to angle TPQ, which is right here. So I've marked that in my picture. Now I need to write that in my proof here. So I'm just going to say angle SPQ is congruent to angle TPQ. And my reason here, how did I know that? Well, I'm pulling directly from what it means to bisect an angle. So this is going to be my definition of angle bisector. Okay, so moving on, uh, that's a pair of congruent angles. So I'm two thirds of the way there. Remember, I need three congruencies to get my congruent triangles. And at this point, I've exhausted everything from my givens. So there must be something happening with this picture here. And in this case, uh, we have this segment PQ that is a segment of triangle uh, PQS and of triangle PQT. So we're basically using our reflexive property uh, of segment congruence here. So in my proof, I'm just going to make the statement that segment PQ is congruent to segment PQ. My reason is the reflexive property uh, of congruence. And that's a pair of sides. So I have a pair of congruent sides, a pair of congruent angles, a pair of congruent sides, and notice that my angle is the included angle. Uh, this angle is right in between my two marked sides in triangle PQS, and my angle QPT is between my two marked sides in triangle PQT. Uh, so I'm done, I have it. I can then make the statement that triangle PQS is congruent to triangle PQT. And my reason is going to be my side angle side congruence theorem. And one quick note here, uh, whenever you're writing this final step, uh, I would, you know, just copy directly from the prove statement here. And because you just can't throw these letters in any order that you want. So that'd be an easy mistake to make. So just copy that just to make sure that all of your corresponding parts are lining up. 